highest grossing and popular shows for figure skaters during the off-season are held in Japan. They're always sold out, and the organizers are trying to gather all the sports stars. For fans, these events are the only opportunity now to see a living legend on the ice, two-time Olympic champion Yuzuru Hanyu. He officially ended his sports career on July 19th after the Beijing Olympics, so now he devotes himself only to performing in the show. The large-scale tour fantasy on ice this year was remembered by many fans of figure skating. It was here that the American figure skater Johnny Weir, who was and remains a role model for Yuzuru, ended his professional career. Also on the tour were Stefan Lambiel, Papadakis, Cizern, Gills, Poirier, Zagorski, Guerrero, Maimihar, Kaori Sakamoto, Javier Fernandez and many others. Hanyu works hard for each show and presents new showcase numbers, and this tour is no exception. This time he performed to Miki Nakashima's Glamorous Sky. First of all, pay attention to the text. Izuru often takes on heroic images about his life path, which are very suitable for describing his sports career. The lyrical hero Hanyu often talks about himself. This time the song and the program itself are about love. It is the opening theme for the Inaim Nana. The plot is built around a difficult choice between a successful career and love, and which of these can actually bring true happiness. Even if the lyrics don't talk about it, but knowing Yuzuru, he never chooses music for no reason. Most likely, he watched the Sanaim and understands the true message of the song. Based on this theory, the program can be conditionally divided into two parts. Hanyu performed all the jumping elements one after another, and then the choreography began. This can be attributed to these two components jumping is about a career, and skating is about love and feelings. Despite the fast rhythm and fatal arrangement, the emotional background is tragic. So you want to disperse the clouds in the sky to illuminate your future. When I fall into the arms of a dream, I find myself again in those glorious days. So I want to be able to return to that morning along the rainbow, to walk together again and build castles in the air of our desires in those captivating bright days. Another interesting detail is the props. Yuzuru started his number with a red jacket on his shoulders. And almost immediately dumped him on the ice. If the whole program is a search for a solution to the career or love dilemma, then this element of clothing is the answer. In the final, Hanyu drives up to him through a hydro blade and picks him up. True, the number is built like a ruler, technique and skating occupy the same place there. Therefore, it is impossible to guess what choice the lyrical hero of the skater made. Yuzuru Hanyu never puts on programs or demonstration numbers just like that. Each has its own big background, and without the story of the skater himself, it is impossible to understand how much can be hidden behind the usual performance. I really like this number, I still review it. And you? Please write in the comments.